Okay guys, so welcome back to the channel here. I'm sitting in front of my fireplace. I've got all my hunting gear already laid out, um, ready to go. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through what all I keep in my hunting backpack. Now, as you can kind of see, this is a rather large backpack uh, to take hunting. Usually you'd want something small, compact, just enough to keep uh, the glo your, your gloves, your, uh, your gloves, your knives, anything you'd need to skin the deer or anything like that, and then some, maybe some snacks along the way. So the reason I chose such a large backpack is because when I go hunting, it's with my brother, my brother-in-law, my wife, and me. And usually we're not more than 100 yards apart from each other. So when, we, when you hunt that close to each other, it really doesn't matter about um, everyone having their own little individual backpack. So we just consolidated all of our stuff and packed it all in one bag. So we'll zip it up. And so um, well, as you can kind of tell, this is a Drago backpack. Uh, it's a tactical style backpack with my 10 years in the military. Kind of grew fond of uh, a tactical backpack. It's got molly all over the place. Um, on the side here, I've got, uh, it's got some strap downs, which are just some uh, buckles. And uh, I put the, the tripod that I'm using right now, uh, I strapped that in here on the side. And uh, on the outside here, I've also got on the bottom part, I've got a Mora uh, knife. This is our skinning and field dressing knife. Uh, it's nice, secure, right there with the molly. That's about all I have, all I carry in on the outside of the bag. So we'll go back and uh, we'll go in the, the small main pouch right here. Uh, let's see here. So like I said, uh, this is a Drago backpack. So in this top pouch, all we have is my 308 ammo and my wife's uh, 270 ammo. That's all I believe. Yep, that's all we keep in this top pouch. Um, just extra ammo. Um, so you never know when you might need to reload. Or um, I know my wife, she, she might take her a couple shots to shoot deer. So this next pouch here is a pretty large pouch. And I know it's kind of hard to see because it's all black. But uh, this next pouch, we have our snacks, as I do. Uh, we've got some uh, damn good beef jerky. Uh, this is the black pepper jerky. If you haven't ever tried this jerky, I definitely suggest it. It's really good. Uh, next, we have a Ziploc bag full of some Chex Mix. Just snacks, guys. That's all it is. Um, and then also on the way up, I would put, um, we'd stop at a gas station, get some Gatorade, some waters, and that would also go in this, this pouch. So there's another small pouch down here to the bottom. And what I keep in this is these are just the randoms. Um, I've got some of these um, bathroom kits that I got in a battle box a couple months back. Hi. Uh, so what these have in them, they just have some uh, toilet paper, wet wipes, uh, a disposable bag, and hand sanitizer in them. So um, these are indispensable on a, when you're hunt, on a hunting trip. Um, next we have a small portable tripod. Uh, with the bendy legs so I can put my camera or my GoPro wrap it around a tree branch or something like that I've got an extra phone mount for uh, the tripod I have um, some extra batteries these are just uh, these are just some uh, four AA right four yeah I got four AA batteries for my camera um, and then a work sharp, or what is this? Yeah, work sharp, outdoor, just knife sharpener. 
uh, just to sharpen the knife after if we shoot a deer and we field dress it. Um, so that's all I keep on the exterior pockets here. Um, something that will go in there that I have charging right now over here is a uh, small, one of my wife's small little battery packs uh, so we don't lose uh, cell phones while we're out there. Um, so the main pouch here, in the main, the main pouch I, I pretty much leave empty. Shh. Um, and that's just to store, uh, like, clothing. Like, when it gets too hot, too cold, you, you want to layer up so you can shed or add layers. So that's what, what I keep, in, one of the things I keep in the main pouch. Um, another thing I keep in the main pouch is uh, my camera. So this is the camera that will be sitting on the tripod here uh, when we go out. And then um, I have couple pair of binoculars also uh, for when if we want to sit on the field here these are just some uh, Tascos now these are cheap I wouldn't call them cheap but these are uh, definitely a budget friendly value binoculars um, I believe where are these these are a what are they 8 by 24 uh, so these will zoom in better than both me and my wife's rifle scopes will, because we only have three by nine. So this starts off at eight and goes all the way up to 24 power. Um, they don't have very large uh, objective lenses, so they don't do too well in, uh, in the early morning or the late evening. But when you're sitting there glassing over a field uh, in the middle of the day looking for that one lone buck that's cruising by, these work amazing with their 24 power. You can see, I know I took these up uh, when we went up to Elk County to look for elk and I was, you know, I was going up there, I don't know. I took my spotting scope and it was a little harder to manually hold my uh, monocular spotting scope up. Cause that has, I think that goes up to like 34 power and these go up to 24. These worked so much better because you could get more stable with your two hands tuck your elbows and just hold it like this and you can see pretty far so that's all I keep in my bag um, so I'll put my bag I'll put everything back in here and I'll put it on and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm out there uh, walk what it, how big it actually is on me Okay guys, so this is the backpack, like I said. Um, throw it on here and I'll show you guys. So, I lent this to my dad when he went to Montana a couple months back. And so the straps are all kinda messed up. But, uh, so this is what it's like, uh, cinched down nice and tight up against the back. Uh, the knife kinda dangles, but uh, otherwise, it's a nice strap, a nice backpack. Uh, got a sternum strap here, give you that added extra security, and uh, get some of the weight there off your shoulders and more onto the hips and the chest so it doesn't wear your shoulders out. This actually is not even touching uh, my shoulders right now. Barely, it's barely touching on the backs here. So, uh, nice and high and tight this isn't even hitting my belt so um thanks for tuning in uh the next video i'm about to film real quick i'm gonna go over uh my blaze orange and what else i wear over my regular clothes so stay tuned thanks